Hey everyone, this is Andrew with an AWS tutorial series on EC2 Container Service. In this tutorial, I'll show you the basics of getting set up with ECS by pushing a sample container into EC2 Container Registry and getting it onto a cluster. In order to get started, you will need to have the AWS CLI installed on your machine, along with Docker Toolbox, and I'll link those in the description below on where to get them. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to need to do is uncheck deploy a sample application. And the reason why we're doing this is because we're going to create this ourselves. And so now we are going to configure a repository where we're going to store our Docker images. In this case, I'm going to just call it tutorial. Now, a couple of things to note here, this first command you're going to want to run on your local machine. And this is going to be to get the login credentials for your AWS ECR. And this is how you're going to be able to push that container up to the repository. So after you run that first command, it's going to spit back out a Docker login command. And then you're going to copy that command, run it, and it's going to log you in so you can now push uh, your containers to the repository. So before we build our Docker container, uh, I'm going to show you the quick sample that I'm going to be using in this demonstration. Uh, I have a Docker file here, which I will link below to my GitHub. Um, it's simply just going to install Apache and put an index.html file in there to serve up. Now we can go ahead and build this Docker container. Uh, depending on your internet connection, uh, this could take a little bit to run, so I'm going to go ahead and skip through the downloading. Now that our Docker container has been successfully built, it's time to tag it and push it up to ECR. So thankfully, Amazon gives us two really easy commands to copy and paste here. So I'm going to copy that one in and tag that container. And now we're going to push the container up to ECR. Again, just like the uh, previous download, this is going to take a little while to upload to ECR. So I'm going ahead and going to skip past this portion. And again, depending on your internet connection, it could take a little bit to push up. So our container is now pushed up to ECR. And if we go ahead and click done, we're going to see that in our repositories, we have that container pushed up there. So now it's time to create a task definition. So a task definition is uh, a description of how you want your containers to run. Um, so in this case, we're just going to call this task. We're not going to give it a role and we're going to leave the network as bridged. Uh, we're going to give our container a name. Uh, and we're going to specify the image or the repository URI that we're going to use for this particular task. Um, now these tasks you can set up a million different ways and I'm only going to go over the basics. So you can see here I'm setting up my port mappings of 8080 um, and I'm going to pretty much leave everything else the same. I'm going to set up the CPU units and I'm going to leave these all default because again this can get really in depth and for this tutorial we just need to do a quick demo. Um, so once we save that, we've created our task definition. Now it's time to create a cluster. So we're going to jump over to clusters and we're going to click create cluster. Uh, we're going to give it a name for the instance type. I'm just going to leave it as a micro and say number of instances one. I'll leave the EBS storage the same and select a key pair that I have. I'm going to select my default VPC and add all of my public subnets that I have set up and I'm going to add a security group that these instances are going to get assigned to. And we're going to click Create. So these are going to take a little bit to create, but a couple things to note here. Um, when you create your own cluster, it creates a launch configuration group for you, as well as an auto-scaling group as well. Now let's view our cluster, and we can see that our cluster status is active. So the next thing we need to do is we need to create a service. And a service describes how you want your task definition to run. Um, so let's go ahead and click Create on our service. We're going to select the task definition that we want to run in the service and in which cluster we want it to run. We'll give it a name of service and we're going to say that we only need to run one of these since it's an Apache uh, setup here, we only want it to run uh, one time. So we're going to go ahead and view our service. And if we click refresh here, we can see that our service status is now running. Um, so we know that this particular uh, container is running on this instance. Uh, so if we jump back over to our cluster here, we can see that we have one service and we have one running task. So now if we jump to the EC2 instance that this is running on and we refresh the page since it's an Apache website, we can see we get hello world, which is what was in that uh, that sample uh, HTML file that I have in my repository. So if we log into the server, 
um, and we run Docker images, we're going to see two images in here. We're going to see the ECS agent, and we're also going to see the tutorial that I created. Um, if we run Docker PS, we can see that both of those are running on the server. And that concludes our tutorial on Amazon ECS. In this tutorial, I walked you through creating your own Docker image and pushing it up to Amazon's ECR, as well as creating a cluster inside of ECS to run one of your tasks within a service. Although this was a basic example of using Amazon's ECS, if you're looking for some more advanced techniques, please post in the comments below and let me know that that's something that you're looking for. As always, please remember to like and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching.